Hey guys, today we're gonna use unauthentic dial up. Let's go. The Dial Up Chronicles. Hey guys, welcome to Dial Up Chronicles. So today I got this box here. It's called a Voight box. And what it does is it replaces my phone line through Ethernet. So it kind of does like what my home phone does through the Ethernet. And of course, cable providers have this now and AT&T does this now and everybody does this now. So I've always called it unauthentic dial-up in the past because it's not using a real home phone like uh, my home phone does through the copper wire. But it is a cool alternate way to surf the web and the way that even your home phone provider is, it, uh, it's unauthentic dial-up anyway. I wanted to show you, so in a sense, I have two phone lines. So this is my home phone. This wire is hooked up to this splitter here. And this splitter is hooked up to this coupler. And it runs, literally, and it's just a mess, so I'm not going to really trace it. But it literally runs all the way there. And then that wire continues to run all the way down into under that couch. And then I'm gonna try to zoom in here. But right there, it runs all the way down. And that's my actual phone line. Let me see if I can get a better look. Hang on, so I pulled back my couch a little bit just so you could see that. So that's my actual home phone right there. And it's just a phone mount hooked to the wall with the wires behind it. And that is, this is where I do all my stuff and that's where I've got my home phone, my literal landline analog phone that I've been doing to surf the web. And again, that's hooked up to this phone. You should be able to hear that. Okay. But now, so this Voight machine, that's the Ethernet cable, obviously, and that's going to my home modem, which is way over there in the front of the house. And then I've got this phone line, and it's hooked up to the splitter here that I have. And one of these is hooked up to this computer, this computer's modem. And then the other one is hooked up to this business phone that I have. <clears throat> and you can, uh, well, wait a Anyway, so we're going to surf the web on dial-up, but through this VoIP machine today. And we're just going to play around with that and see how that works. I still have a real landline home phone. I'm not getting rid of that yet. But all the alternate types of options I have, that helps. It's awesome. So let's go. Okay, guys, so I have a friend that I've mentioned in a video before named Jot Dot, and he has his own dial-up server. So I can call him with my home phone, my landline home phone analog, but now that 
I've got this VoIP box that I showed just a second ago. I can actually dial in. I'm still using <clears throat> a telephone line and I'm still using analog equipment, but I'm tricking it into thinking with this box hooked up to the ethernet, I'm tricking the thinking it's uh, still using a home phone, even though it's going through the ethernet. So the box acts like a converter type thing. So it's just really neat. It's a more um, potentially stable, faster connection. And potentially one day, I'm not gonna be able to have a landline phone anyway, because they're trying to get rid of that. I'm gonna have to find. Okay, logging on the network. Eventually, if I wanna surf the web with dial up, I'm gonna have to find an alternate route using ethernet like I am now, because eventually they're gonna to try to completely get rid of home phones, especially if you're in the city or something like I'm in, and you're not like in a super urban area. So we're connected at 31.2 beeps, which I don't even get on my home phone anymore here since I moved because they did something to my phone line. So we're just gonna surf the web and play around with it and experiment. So yes, um, I've said in past videos that this is what I call unauthentic dial-up and that I think it's so cool that I can dial into the internet with a real home phone, with a real analog home phone that's going through copper wires, that's with a company like AT&T and actually dials in. But the thing is, what I've come to learn is the more I've looked into this, the more likely that even AT&T <clears throat> has me dialing into a box like this at their base at, or their terminal, even though I'm still going through the copper wire. So I guess the point I'm making is, yes, the home phone is still a sense of authentic dial-up, but at the same time, because of what AT&T has done, there is really no authentic dial-up anymore. So to me doing this is just what the, the company's doing anyway. I could be saving a lot of money, potentially, but I'm not quite ready to get rid of my home phone just net yet. So, and it doesn't wanna uh, go to anything. Okay, PYMD.com by Ralphiel Tuck 1906. That picture came up pretty quick. Again, we can look at the status here. Connected at 31.2 beeps, two minutes. Look at those bytes moving, bytes received and sent. The Giza periods are the most massive stone buildings in the world today and among the most ancient, surrounded by the ever-growing suburbs of Cairo on one side and the seemingly endless Sahara on the other. The pyramids look out on our modern world with a mute question, how? How could men of 4,500 years ago build so grandly, so perfectly when conventional archeology span claims they had only recently been simple herders and farmers, yet there they stand. There's a picture coming up. Here's another picture slowly coming up. There's another picture that already came up. So it's working well. So it still is dial up because I'm still using a dial up modem that's in this computer. I'm still using a telephone line. It's still making a phone call the box, but then it's going through the VoIP box and converting that analog into digital so I can use my ethernet. So I'm not actually going at cable speeds. I'm still going at dial-up speed, 
but it's so yeah in a sense it's kind of like fake internet i guess fake fake dial-up as you could call it as i've talked about in the past and i still have the home phone and i'm still going to surf the web with my real home phone for now but this is a great alternative especially if you still if well you may not want to pay for the home phone because I want to make a video on that, how I pay so much for a home phone and dial-up internet service. Because if you're using a real home phone, then you might need a real dial-up internet provider, which is Juno or NetZero. And you can't, they do have a free service, but the paid service works better. So if you're wanting to go on dial-up internet like the authentic way, then you need to pay for a home phone. You need to have the infrastructure at your house, first off, that I've done in a video, I've done in a video before, it says uh, why it's great to have a home phone in 2023. But so you need the infrastructure there. You need to get AT, you need to convince AT&T to give you a home phone, which is a pain in the butt because they don't want to provide it anymore. And none of the, the, home, the, the phone providers do anymore want to give you a true home phone through copper wires that's analog because they're trying to, to replace it with fiber. They're trying to replace it with fiber, which thankfully they haven't done in my neighborhood yet. And let's go on Internet Explorer. So they want to do that. So they don't even want to give you a home phone. So you might have to call them one, two to three times just to get somebody on the line that'll give you a home phone if you have the infrastructure there. And once they come actually install it, they may have to come back three or four or five times before it's working good just because they don't necessarily um, maintain that infrastructure, that copper wire infrastructure, because nobody has a home phone unless you're living out in the country where all you can get is a home phone. Ooh, the Presidential Campaign of 1896, Cartoons and Commentary of Vassar College. Let's save this. Add to favorites. This looks kind of neat. You can see all this is coming up. And we're at 31.2. The other thing I like about this too, going through the VoIP box, is I'm just directly connected with my dial-up networking. And so that way I don't have to go through the proprietary software of NetZero or Juno. So that's kind of cool. Now I could potentially dial into this number with my home phone directly as well, um, which that is pretty cool. I'm just gonna have to pay the long distance because it's a long distance number. But still that's, that's pretty neat. So, Again, like I was saying, you've got to get them, once you actually convince at and you have the infrastructure, you convince at and to come install your phone line, you get it installed, then a squirrel might get in there, or a bat, or it might rain, and then all of a sudden, all of a sudden your phone's not working, and you gotta call them, you gotta get a hold of at and they gotta come back, they gotta fix it. Then a bat might pee in there or it might rain again and then they got to come out again. When I moved to this location, they had to come out, at and had to come out five times, I want to say, and they did give me a refund for the, the days I didn't have service and because they had to come fix it and it wasn't my fault, which was great. So I had one cheap bill, but it was a bummer. Uh, it was a bummer not the phone not working for that amount of time and them having to come out that many times but thankfully the phone has been stable since then i haven't had any any issues or any major i haven't had any issues since then so that's been a blessing this page provides links to all cartoons on the site in chronological order information about campaign themes and leaders so this is a whole like history of this one election cycle that is kind of neat. Anyway, so once they actually fix the phone line and it works, then you gotta pay the bill. The, the phone bill for basic home phone, you know, no long distance is about $50 a month. 
The problem is you have a bunch of federal and state taxes on top of your phone and that increases it with tax. You're looking at about $75 a month for a home phone. That's more, that's almost as much as or more than a cell phone. So you think, why do you want to get that? And most people don't. The one good thing to have it is if you have a natural disaster and your, your cell phone doesn't work because everybody's tying up the cell phones during a natural disaster and your electricity is out, your home phone should still work because the home phone uh, has like a battery, has some kind of backup, electric backup that makes your home phone work when the electricity goes out. Now the alternative to that is to have a home phone hooked up with your ethernet like like I do with this VoIP box or can have with this VoIP box and then have some kind of power source backup. And I believe you can get that somehow. I'm not sure exactly how that works, but there is a way to do that. And so you would still have a home phone. So definitely something to think about. Benjamin Tillman, 1847 through 1918, an up and coming Democrat in 1896, had been elected to the US Senate from South Carolina in 1894. He had previously served as governor of South Carolina from 1890 to 1894, a term in which he won a reputation as one of the early Southern demagogues. His policy as, oops, his policy as governor, however, were conservative, but not out of the mainstream for Southern Democrats. He worked hard to curb lynching in his state while at the same time advocating, advocating segregation and disenfranchisement. Disenfranchisement. Okay, cool. So this is working pretty good. So let's let's go to, so we use, this is, just to show you guys, this is, oops, this is Internet Explorer 6.0. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys that. And okay. And just real quickly, what I was surfing on over here, this is, uh, just dropped the connection. So let's we'll reconnect. So that's the only bad thing about the VoIP box. Sometimes it drops, but we were just online for, I don't know, 12 minutes. So that's not too bad. So yeah, this is Netscape Communicator 4.73, and we'll just surf using, just to show some different browsers, we'll, Nets, we'll surf using Netscape Navigator Gold 2.02. .02. So yeah, like I was saying, you've got to pay that, you're going to be paying $75 a month for a home phone, and then if you want a legitimate dial up ISP and you want to actually pay for it because paying for it works a little bit better. You're looking at about $29.95, $30 a month. And then if you want to dial into different ISPs or if you need to use long distance to dial into an ISP, you're looking at about seven cents a minute to surf the web there and so you're looking at over a hundred dollars a month just to use dial up internet so that's why um this is a neat alternative that you might want to consider using a voip box because you're not paying for any of those trying to get a page to come up here here we go scooby-doo and velma 2 in appreciation of the most underappreciated member of mysteries inc I like that in on the Netscape Navigator 2.02. The hub, click above to enter the hub. This is our main index site. From there you can explore a whole world of Scooby.
And for me, the, the connection is better at 31.2, which is, I used to get 33.6 at the place I lived before, but since I moved and I'm the only one that has a home phone in this area, literally, we can go to the home phone box and I'm the only one having a, a connection. I guess they don't keep up with the infrastructure here as well, so it's not communicating correctly. So I do like having a home phone, but I like having this alternative as well. And it's still true dial-up. It's just converting that dial-up, that analog dial-up into digital through, through the box, going through the ethernet. Original story section, ready for some new stuff. Hold on to your hats and get ready to head off on some new adventures. Also check out our Yahoo site. Okay. Hoping to get some more browsers on here soon as well. Um, let's go to the old net.com. Let's go to this site I wanted to show you where we can get modern news, but that works for an old browser like this. So we'll just stop this. Oh, there, because I stopped it. Here we go, 68k.news. So let's go there, 68k.news. This should hopefully, yeah, it comes right up. Headlines from the future, basic HTML Google News for vintage computers like what I'm using, built by Action Retro on YouTube. Support this on Patreon. And you can see this was posted. This headline here is posted on June 13, 2023 at 3.34 p.m. And it's 3.14 p.m. right now, June 13, 2023. So this is modern news but it's basically just text. Oh, failed to get the article. Dang. So it's not even working on the, the Netscape 2.02. So let's go to, there we go, here's one that's working. Xbox Showcase 2023 was epic, but there was one major problem. The Xbox Showcase 2023 was an impressive gaming event that packaged together around an hour of excellent reveals and a deep dive in the star field that convinced me the sci-fi RPG might give Zelda Tears of the Kingdom competition come. So I like to read my news on dial-up. I'm sure you might too. So yeah, if you have a vintage computer or if you want to get a vintage computer or an old computer or if you want to take a modern computer and you could get a dial-up modem that hooks up to it through USB and then run Windows 98 virtually, something like that. Let's look at this in Internet Explorer. You could get this VoIP box and then you could set up your own phone line through one website you could do is VoIP.ms. And I think it's really cheap. It's like uh, 18 cents a month. And then you could dial into yourself with the VoIP box. Um, and you could use dial up internet. And it's something more, that way I think is something more accessible than most people. For It's more accessible for most people because most people can't get uh, a home phone, a real analog home phone that goes through copper wires or they can't afford it. Let's go to one more website. Let's go to Toasty Tech. ToastyTech.com. And we can, if 
find out about how Internet Explorer is evil on Internet Explorer while we're searching Internet Explorer itself. And there's the cool GIF I like that always comes up on this page. Ways to torment IE users. Delete their internet icon. Wine. You deleted the internet. Wine. Number two, set the home page to an embedded ActiveX control that automatically shuts down their computer. There it is. Fire. <laughs> he was bad then. He's bad now. <laughs> Ugh. Firefox Live. Let's see what that is. Mozilla kicks ass. Okay, I've been here before. This is definitely something I want to play with. But hopefully, um, I'm going to be getting Firefox on here soon. So we'll be able to search the web on Firefox on Windows 98. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope maybe you consider getting a VoIP box and surfing the web with dial-up yourself. All right, guys, till next time on the Dial-Up Chronicles.